Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The Roman Republic inspired and informed the American founders' own thinking about government. The lessons they learned from the Roman Republic helped them create the U.S. Constitution, with its separation of powers, checks and balances, and other structures designed to limit too much power being placed in the hands of one person, an elite group of people, or even a majority. The Roman Republic began about 500 BC and lasted until 27 AD. This republic had no written constitution, changed over time, and was complicated in its details. However, its essential structure was as follows. At the top, there were the consuls. These two men wielded all executive power and controlled the army. Both had to agree in order to take any action. Second, there were the senators. They held their posts for life. Roman senators were men from wealthy families who advised the consuls. Initially, the Roman Senate had about 300 members, but its size varied over the years. Third, there were the Roman legislative assemblies. The Roman assemblies included all free male Roman citizens. They voted on major issues, but the rich patricians had more votes than the poor plebeians, or commoners. Assemblymen elected tribunes to the Senate who were supposed to speak for the poor. Finally, there were prefects, who had limited authority over military or civil matters. Praefectus Urbi, for example, were appointed officials who ran Rome in the absence of consuls, enforced the laws, and heard some court cases. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.